Hello all! Welcome back to the Knowledge Tower, where we investigate the science behind the Bionicle legend. One of the coolest things to me about Bionicle is not only the sheer amount of world building that occurred throughout the series, but just how much of it was there right from the start. Even in the very beginning, way back in 2001, we got a rich understanding of the Matoran, their culture, and their world through the various pieces of Bionicle media released at the time, in the Matanui Online game especially. But one of the parts of this world building that I thought was the coolest as a kid was that we got a whole new alphanumeric symbology to play with. There were a lot of secret messages passed between me and my friends in Matoran in those days, to be sure. This symbology was simple but effective, and had a clear design philosophy to it. However, at least in terms of the numbers, that design philosophy appears to be incomplete. The pattern starts out well enough, with numbers 0 through 5 showing a clear relationship, a circle with a smaller one in the middle, and lines branching out from that inner circle that correspond to the number being represented. We then get an amended pattern from 6 onwards, with 6 being two smaller circles within the main one, and then the numbers 7 through 9 following the same pattern of lines counting up like before. But once you hit 9, that pattern just stops. There's a very good reason for this, that being that after 9 comes 10, which in our decimal system is represented by two digits rather than one, so the Matoran script does the same to help keep it familiar for kids. But, looking purely at the design language of the numbers, it doesn't look like it should stop there, does it? The way the visuals of the numbers are set up, it seems like there should be more to it. In this video, we are going to explore this idea further, and see where that line of reasoning takes us. One possible way to read the design philosophy of these numbers that I have seen from others in the fandom is that they are not meant to be used to count in base 10 like we are used to, but instead they represent a base 6 system. We have talked about number bases before on this channel, but a quick refresher is that counting systems can be split into different base types depending on how many unique digits are used within them. In our everyday lives, we use the base 10 or decimal system, which has 10 digits, 0 through 9, to represent any number within it. Anything higher than 9 is represented by multiple digits rather than just one, with a new digit being added for tens, hundreds, thousands, etc. Computers, meanwhile, use a base 2 or binary system in their coding, which represents any number with only two symbols, 0 and 1. In this system, the number 2 would be written instead as 1, 0, as there are only two symbols available to use, so you need to add another digit to count any higher. In terms of Matoran numbers, we have clear symbols from 0 to 5, but then at 6 the pattern changes. Here, a second inner circle is added, then the lines begin with the same pattern as before. The argument goes that this is representative of base 6, only instead of adding a second digit like usual, the Matoran add a second inner circle to represent the switch. Following that logic, if we extend the pattern out from number 9, we get the following numerals for numbers 10 and 11. In normal base 6 counting, we would add another digit here to represent 12, but instead the design philosophy of this theory dictates that we continue to use the circles within circles pattern, adding a third inner circle to represent 12 and then going back to the line pattern again for higher numbers. It's a method I've definitely seen others in the fandom use, and I can certainly see the appeal. 6 is absolutely an important number within Bionicle, with sets coming in waves of 6, 6 beings merging to form a Nui fusion, amongst other examples. A single symbol representing any number is also a very cool idea, and has actually popped up a few different times in history. One of my favourite examples is this one, invented by Cistercian monks in the 13th century, which allows any number between 1 and 9999 to be written as a single symbol. However, there lies the problem with trying to use only one symbol for higher and higher numbers. Eventually, the symbol is just going to get too complex to be legible. In the Cistercian symbology, that doesn't happen until you reach 10,000. However, it doesn't take nearly as long before you reach this inherent limit with the Matoran symbols. As you can see here, you can just about make it to 17 with this circles within circles method, but even that is starting to get difficult to read due to the limited space within the outer circle. Trying to add a fourth circle, or later a fifth or sixth or more, is just impractical due to the size constraint, so we can't really use this method for writing higher numbers. 
But if we disregard this method for showing larger numbers, then we also have to throw out the idea of counting in base 6 too. The base 6 theory only works with the canon Matoran symbols if you stick to the circles within circles method for higher numbers, rather than adding new digits. And as we have just shown, that would get far too impractical to be of any real use. But all is not lost. The expansion of the canon symbols to include these two for 10 and 11 showed promise and allowed us to close the pattern started at the symbol 6, giving us a total of 12 unique digits. What if instead the Matoran use a base 12 system? In this proposal, we have these 12 digits, then, like in real life base 12, also known as duodecimal, we add a new digit so that the number 12 is represented by two symbols together instead of just one. This, I think, is the best of both worlds. We can satisfactorily close out the pattern of repeating symbols hinted at in the canon version, but also not extend it out to such a degree that the symbols for higher numbers become functionally useless. As you can see here, you would use one digit to represent the numbers between 0 and 11, then two digits to represent numbers until you reach 12 twelves, aka 144, which would be represented by three digits instead, and so on. Now, you may be thinking, sure, we can extrapolate out a plausible base 12 system for the Matoran, but why would they actually use one? Well, as it turns out, many mathematicians argue that base 12 would actually be more useful for everyday maths than our current base 10 system. For one thing, fractions in duodecimal are far easier. 10 only has two factors aside from itself and 1, 2 and 5. 12, meanwhile, has 4, 2, 3, 4 and 6. This makes dividing 12 up into equal parts far easier to do in your head, a handy thing in everyday life. It also strikes a good balance between having multiple factors whilst not also having too many individual symbols to memorise. Base 60, for example, is even more divisible than base 12, but with 60 separate symbols to memorise, it becomes far more cumbersome. Not impossible, though, given some cultures such as the Babylonians did indeed use base 60 counting systems. Multiples of 12 can also easily be counted on your fingers, using the same method we explored in this Spherus Magna timekeeping video. In that video, we showed how you can do this by counting the number of finger joints on one hand. With three finger joints per finger and four fingers on one hand, you can count up to 12 by counting each finger joint using your thumb. You can even then count up in multiples of 12 by keeping track of the number of 12s with your fingers of your other hand. By counting five multiples of 12 on your other hand, you can easily count as high as 60 using only your fingers via this method. As has also been shown in that video, bionicle hand pieces, those that actually showed fingers anyway, only had three fingers and a thumb on each hand, rather than the four and a thumb of ours. Though this wouldn't stop them from being able to count up in twelves using this method. They would just have to count the fingertips as well as the joints to make up for the three joints lost on their missing finger. With advantages such as these, I think it's easy to see why the great beings may have chosen duodecimal as the primary number system when constructing the Matoran universe, and, as we have shown here, it does fit with the evidence from the canon symbols. But what do you think? Do you agree that the pattern of the canon numbers suggests that other number systems might have been used inside the Matoran universe? If so, do you like this duodecimal explanation, or do you have other suggestions? Let me know in the comments, and I hope to see you all again soon for another Bionicle Science investigation here at the Knowledge Tower.